Sakito Mojo just came out with a new kit. And I'm excited about this because it actually answers the thing that I never liked about Keto Mojo. Individual strips. Individual strips. But I have a theory. And I want to test my theory on whether a certain food will actually lower your ketones. Do you want to do that in today's video? Yes. So are we checking our ketones with like dessert? No, we are not checking our ketones with dessert. We're checking it with- With a, that? With that, but we can't tell them what it is until afterwards. Okay. Hey, what's up family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, Two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. Ketos. And if you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like recipe videos and we do product reviews and we talk about various keto topics. And then every Monday, we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us in different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is 2crazyketos.com. And that's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now, we do upload at least five new videos every single week. So make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon. That way, every single time we upload a video that I am not sure is going to turn out the way you hope it will, you'll be alerted to it. Okay, stop focusing on what's sitting over there. Okay. Let's focus on this. This is the new Keto Mojo. So Keto Mojo has been around for a long time. We've always liked Keto Mojo. Yeah. Um, but I had one major issue with it. It used to have all of the test strips in this one little container. So every time you would reach in for a new test strip, you felt like you were compromising the results. Right. So they sent us this. And what this is, it's their complete glucose and ketone meter. But a couple of things. So there's a whole bunch of stuff in here. It's beautiful. So this is called their GK Plus Smart Meter Made Smarter. So they tell you how to get your GKI. That's another whole like video completely. But it has Bluetooth built in, so you can sync everything. Okay. Also, it now works with Chronometer, which if you're new to our channel, oh, we yes. love Chronometer. It's a great way to track. So now you can have this and everything all integrates together. That's so nice. let's open this up and go through if you're into data, What's in here? data collection. If you're into data connection. So this has a Bluetooth 4.2 integrated, exceeds the accuracy standards, lifetime warranty, um, does have really good customer service. It stores a thousand records, which is awesome. Oh my Lord. Uh, it's got a little a light for the strips now. It measures both your glucose and your ketones. So right. what we got with this is there is 60 blue, uh, glucose tests and 60 ketone tests. But the biggest thing is they're individually wrapped. Right. So you want to open that up because yes. that's, again, why I never liked it. So you have all of this stuff that's in here. So this is the blood glucose test strip. Today we're just worrying about ketones. And this one is the ketone. It's blue. Okay, so they give you a little test thing, a little pricker. That's not my favorite part. And there's a bunch of the little needles for that, which I'm gonna put one in here for you now. And I do have another like thing off to the side. Where you can prick your so, finger. So like I can do my finger and you can do your finger. No sharing or, needles. I, I can that prick your terrible. finger, but. Yeah, prick it for me, cause it's not my favorite thing to do. Okay. So now we have the meter. Well, wait a second. You're really anxious this to get you. This little your, light of mine. You're anxious for me to make you bleed, huh? I'm going to make it bleed. So we have our meter. Okay. And then we have some more strips in here. So nice little carrying case. Yeah. Here's like a sample solution thing if you need to like calibrate things. So a nice little setup. Very nice. So you want to go ahead. We're going to test our ketones because I want to test the food. Prep me. So we're I'm gonna prep you. I'm afraid of what you're gonna find out. Okay. Make sure you uh, let that dry. I do have some paper towels over here. It dries so fast on me. I feel like in this season, we are just used to alcohol being on our hands. Like, ah, the smell of clean. Here's my little pricker. Dab it. We're gonna make you bleed. Make you bleed. Be gentle. 
That was maybe too gentle. I don't think I even. I have it on five. I don't think I felt the skin break. Oh. Okay, there it is. There you go. Okay. Yes. Oh, I did get it. Get the blood out. Looks like there's. Give a little wipe and then I've get lost. a new one out. Okay. We're going to make sure we're not just getting like the water. Right. Oof. I don't know why I'm pricking mine. I still have to first do yours. So the yes. green one is the ketones, correct? It's not green though, colorblind guy. It it's looks kind of blue to me. Teal. How's that? A teal. Teal. So part. this is what I like. I really like the individual strips. Me too. Okay, so there's a little thing here. We're going to put this in here. Look at that. Aww. It lights up. It automatically turns on. It's like diddly -de deed. And we're going to go here. Okay. Nine, eight, eight seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, so Rachel's 1. ketones 0. are at a 1.0. Okay. Okay, so let's go ahead and test mine now. I'm good with that. We're all in agreement that's a ketosis number. Did you prick yourself enough? I'm gonna have to probably redo it, but I'm gonna set this up. Okay, so you're ready to go. Okay, so okay. I'm using the black one. That one looks like very slick. Whew. Blood. Yes, it came out quite it fast. Came out good. All right. You ready? Okay. Let's see if I beat him. We're always in competition. Now we are not, well, we're sort of fast. We're faster from food, but you had a bunch of coffee today. I had coffee with nothing in it and did you have any like soda or water? I, I know so. I had water. I had a seltzer water. I'm point at a seven. Point seven. I so beat him. Let's show that. Point seven. Oh okay. yeah. And you showed mine. One point you zero. You showed yours. One point zero. So here's my theory. I believe me. I love Keto Mojo. I think data numbers are awesome. Yeah, I do. Okay, but I don't want people getting like too hung up on numbers. Too worried. Okay because a lot of things are going to affect your numbers. Because here's the thing, Keto Mojo, what we're measuring is the ketones in our blood. Okay. But that can range by how much food you're eating and things like that. My theory is your ketones are gonna go down no matter what you eat, right after you eat. Too many people I think eat something and are like, oh, my ketones went down. So that this thing knocks me out of ketosis. Yep, so okay. here's what we're gonna eat. I may be completely off on this. We shall see. We're gonna eat dinner. And we're gonna eat what I think most people, we're not gonna eat on camera, don't worry. We're just gonna start eating and then this come back. This is super keto. We're gonna, this is what I think most people can agree All is a keto meal. We have the same exact meal here. Me we have some meat, turkey. mostly. And the turkey I made in the oven with nothing but Redmond Real Salt organic pepper and garlic blend. So no bacon on top. Okay. No sugar added, no marinades. I didn't brine it. It's literally turkey out of the package with salt, pepper, and garlic. Okay. Okay. We each have three eggs from our chickens in the backyard. And there was no funny business going on no back funny, there. No heavy cream added to the eggs. Real no actual nothing. eggs. They're so we nice each and have about um, a third of a pound of ground beef, again, with nothing but salt added into Just it. Just salt, okay. And then we each have a half a um, serving, so it's a half an ounce of cheddar cheese melted on top of the eggs and stuff. Okay. So in all, you're looking at counting the carbs in the eggs, about four carbs on this whole plate. Total. Whole plate, yep. I don't know how many calories are here. You wanna figure it out, go ahead. We're gonna eat this. And then we're gonna come back in an hour and we're gonna check our ketones. And see? And see if eating eggs, ground beef, turkey, and cheese knocks us out of ketosis. Let's do it. As always, I have beaten you. <laughs> Every time. Okay, so we finished our food. Let me put this off to the side. Our beautiful Dollar Tree plates. Okay, so it is 4 30 p.m. So we're gonna come back in an hour and check our ketones. And I seriously don't know what the results are. My theory is my ketones are gonna be low because I just ate. We got water. We have, we're drinking water. We're trying to eliminate every variable, every we, can. variable we have. So, I mean, I think everybody can agree this is the, the most 
keto meal that you can have unless you take out the actual cheese. We didn't add ketchup, we didn't add mustard, we didn't have any kind of mayonnaise, no seasoning, we didn't even extra salt it. Right, so again, it may be the same ketones, I don't know. While we're waiting, let's talk about the keto mojo. I mean, All right. I guess you really can't put it through a five things. We could put it through a modified five things. Five things, it five works. Five things. <laughs> okay. So generally we review everything based on ingredients and does it keto, but we don't really have that. So let's get right down to this. I We've had a Keto Mojo since we really got started. Keto Mojo is like one of the first really good ones out there. I always had two issues with them. Their strips were a dollar a strip. And then like we talked about earlier, the fact that you bought it, they came in a vial and I felt like as soon as I stuck my hand in there, compromised. I was now compromising all of them. And the reason I didn't really care about the fact that it did ketones and glucose was because I felt the glucose test strips were too expensive. You could buy something cheaper at Walmart. Yeah. They fixed that. So we're gonna get right into the price. So we already mentioned the strips. They're individually wrapped now. How much is this meter? Yeah. Okay, so there's a couple of different ways. I have their website up here. There's a couple of different, they actually have a promo bundle right now. You can get what we just got, which is the meter, the, the control solutions, the little prick thing, and then the 60 strips of each one, and it's normally 1097 Which isn't unreasonable. It's not unreasonable. You can get it right now for $90.99. Okay. Not $99.99, $90.99. So okay. that's like a $20 saving. That's significant. Plus, we have a coupon code, which is gonna be down below in the description. That will get you some money off of buying your bundle. Okay? Nice. If you don't want to buy all those test strips, you can, and just maybe you don't have that much money right now, you can get the same meter, the control solutions, the little prick thing. I like saying the little prick thing. The little prick thing. And then 10 of each strip. Oh, and also you get the Lancets too. Um, right. That is normally $50. Right now you can get it for $44.99. Wow. So, okay. you know, the difference is the strips. You're not getting all of the extra strips. But no matter what, it works with the app. Works with the app, works, works with, with Bluetooth, works with chronometer. Now let's get into the strips themselves mm -hmm. because again, this was one of the issues that we had was the strips were a little expensive. Also why we didn't do the glucose. We did a set of separate glucose meter because it was cheaper to use Walmart strips. But it would be nice to be able to use the same meter for both and not have, you know, all these little yeah. gadgets around. So I think that the old version, the strips were like 30 cents a test strip. Mm -hmm. Now you get 60 of them for $14. And that works out to be like 23 cents. So now we're closer to like the Walmart price of a test strip. It adds up and we and do- And in one meter. In one meter. And we do like the meter much better than peeing on the test strip to see if you're in ketosis and- Oh, that's garbage. It's just really garbage, but not cheap. No. It's no. not cheap to use those. No, absolutely not. Okay, so now the ketone strips. Ketone strips used to be a dollar a strip. Each. Now, uh, a 60 pack is 48 bucks. So that works out to be like 80 cents a strip. So that's a 20 cent. So if you're testing every single day, yeah. that's a significant savings. And I do want to say this, this is very important. Those prices are with the new meter. If you have the old meter that we have, you still have to use the old vials, which oh. means you still have to pay the old prices. So if you have the old one, I highly suggest upgrading to the new meter, whether you get the $45 or the $90 pack, but you're gonna save the money right off the bat with the strips because they still sell the old strips on here and it's a 50 pack for $15 for the glucose and a 50 pack for $49.50 for the ketone. So you're better off if you have the old meter, go ahead and upgrade, plus you're getting the compatibility with chronometer, you're getting the built-in Bluetooth, you're getting all of that stuff. After a couple of years, I wanna kinda upgrade it anyway. It's yeah. been a couple years for us now. Oh yeah, who knows like how off that machine has been. I mean, it's been sitting around, it's been in the car and everything else. It's so. been everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna come back in an hour. It'll, we'll come back at 5.30 and we're gonna test our ketones again and we're gonna see, did eggs, ground beef, and turkey lower our ketones. Are you ready for this? I'm ready for coffee. <laughs> I and made I, you coffee. I can smell it brewing, but I was afraid that it would alter results, and so I've stuck to water. So I made Bones peanut butter and jelly coffee, because peanut butter and jelly is awesome. Man. 
Are you ready for this? Yes. Are you nervous about this? I'm not nervous. I'm just interested to see, you know, will it, how much will it lower my ketones? So my theory is ketones are down. Why? Because we just ate. Okay. And so your body's going to utilize the ketones it has and like it's, you're giving it fuel. There was some fat in there. Yeah. And we're pretty fat adapted. It doesn't we're not, mean anything bad. We're not starving anymore. So it doesn't need to deal with a starvation mode in our body. Right. So yeah. Okay. You ready? Okay. Here we go. Did you, you give you a paper towel so you can wipe your you hand? I already got one prepped for you. Oh, thank you. All right, so first blood, Rambo, going to the second tier. Here we go. Right? Yeah. So it was a 1.0 before. I'm always nervous about trying to do it because I'm afraid to waste the strip. And if you don't get that blood just right. It's got to go right down the little And then you miss gully. it, and then you got to waste the strip. Three, two, one. <gasps> oh. Oh. 0 0.2. Eggs and ground beef kicked you out of ketosis. Oh my God. That Eggs is, and ground beef kicked you out of ketosis. That is the most keto food that we could eat. <laughs> Let's test me. I, I can't even imagine where I'm going to be. Man. Man. See, num two? numbers are cool. I, I, I mean, I'm not a geek with a lot of things, but numbers are cool. I mean, that's literally is why I own an aura ring. From a, like, I like seeing the data. From a 1.0 to this a 0.2. Right. right. Yours should be a negative, sir. Yours was a <laughs> 0.7. How low could it go? Uh, let's put this on. Oh, my gosh. I can't believe it. Can you believe that? That's a lot. That feels like a hit. That was a hit. Oh my gosh. Because we have that 0. 0.5 number in our brain. Right. You ready? Yep. You're like fumbling. You're so nervous. Okay. Here we go. Will I beat him still? You'd, you'd have to, man. I hope I still beat you. One. Point, okay. Point two. All right, we tied. We tied. We tied for last place. <laughs> That's what we tied for. So does this mean that we are no longer in ketosis? No. I don't think anybody can argue and say that the meal we ate isn't a complete keto meal. It's a keto it's, meal. Honestly, it was more than a keto meal. It was a carnivore meal. Maybe the only way to get less dairy. carbs is not have eggs. But dairy is keto. That's true. And you true. only had a half an ounce of cheese. The only way to get less carbs in the meal that we ate is not have eggs. And we don't even usually count the carbs in eggs, but there is a carb in each egg. And man, we are using our backyard flock to like yes. produce the eggs. So, I mean, we're doing as best as we can. So that was a good, healthy keto meal. So I see people, this is kind of what, when you mentioned doing this, once we were in it, I thought, yeah, we should, because I see a lot of people worried that a certain food is kicking them out of ketosis. I hear that all the time. Mm -hmm. They'll eat something and they're like, well, I can't eat this broccoli. Right. Because it kicks me out of ketosis. Right. Well, here's the thing. We love the folks at Keto Mojo. Yeah. They're awesome. We like the Keto Mojo meter. Yes. Okay. But what we're trying to say is don't get hung up on the number. No. I don't, we don't want you to chase the number. We ate a keto meal. Yeah. We had a higher ketone. We ate and the ketone came down. Those products that we ate, those foods did not kick us out of ketosis. What we're measuring here is our stored ketones. Well, we don't need stored ketones. You would have the same exact thing if you ate, if you tested your ketones, you went and worked out for an hour and came back and test it again. You're gonna have like almost no ketones in your blood. Why? Your body used just them. used them all as that energy. So it always concerns me when people say like, I test, I ate this, whether it be a keto product or a food, like it could be an avocado, it could be an egg, or it could be something like a high key cookie or something. And they're like, I got kicked out of ketosis. Just because this meter says you're below a 0.5 doesn't mean you got kicked out of ketosis. What's more important in my personal opinion, and which is what we like about the Keto Mojo now, is you can test your glucose. Yes. When should you be testing your ketones? 
You should be testing your ketones like midday before you eat. And then if so you do still, that. You're still fasted, but it's not like as soon as you get up in the morning at like 7 a.m. Yeah, you don't want to do first thing in the morning because you're dealing with your the whole issue of the dawn phenomenon. You want to do it midday before your meal. That's going to give you a good like assessment of what's going on. And then if you want to test every day, test at the same time every day. Now, if you want to test after a meal, you want to test three or four hours after a meal, but before the next meal and after you eat. You'd have to have nothing but water for those three or four hours to really know what did that meal do. So yeah. if you want to test like and see what does a food do, test your glucose. That's the more important thing. Like if you test your glucose and you had a giant spike after eating a meal, then you know that food is going to affect your ketones. Why? Because low glucose, usually you'll have higher ketones. And when you have a really high glucose, you have lower ketones because your body doesn't need to create ketones if you're giving it sugar. Exactly. So what do you think? Fascinating. I think it's a fascinating, just kind of like getting your own like bio data. Does this mean that we should not eat eggs and ground beef anymore? I don't know what's left. But no. we'll go. Of course not. We'll go check and see. Let's see. Maybe if we only eat duck. <laughs> Maybe if we only eat what bacon. Okay. I can get on board. We should just pursue an all bacon diet moving forward. What if bacon lowers your ketones? <sighs> Okay, I'm not testing after coffee. Okay, I'm just not. <laughs> I am not testing after black coffee. Well, that is gonna be our video for today. Let us know if you guys thought that we were gonna have lower ketones or higher ketones. Let us know if you thought this was an interesting test. I yeah. honestly am fascinated by it. Again, that was my theory. I didn't know what the results were gonna be. If you don't have a Keto Mojo Meter, there is a link down below. If you have the old one, we highly suggest getting the new one. It's got cool new features and it's cheaper than using the old meter. Yeah. Now, if you like seeing videos like this, check out some of the other videos that we have linked right down there. Also, make sure you take a look at our most recent video, which you're gonna find right over here. But whether you head this way or you head this way, don't forget to head this way. Subscribe to our channel, click the little bell icon. That way, every single time we find out something amazing, you'll be alerted to it. Until next time. Bye. bye.